It's, uh, it's pretty, really cool. Um, last year was a super fun season for a lot of reasons. Um, if I had no idea in fact I wanted to, I didn't know what it was going to look like this year. And to come back and see how this team's growing, um, see the progress we've made since I made that decision back in January to now, um, how close we are, it's been pretty special. And your last college game at Duke Yanks Yeah, it's pretty insane. Um, just a walk-on from Arizona, a transfer from Nebraska, and now I get to play um, Alabama in my last game. And so it'll be a great challenge. It's going to be cool to go at these guys and, and attack with these guys one more time. As a friend of Adrian's, how many times I've been there, I'm to, to get to see him have the time to be able Yeah, it's been pretty special. Um, we played a lot of games in um, Nebraska together, and uh, I don't think there's ever one that had a wait that we did last week um, or this week coming up. And so for him to, to transfer here and be with me and, and see the success that he's had here and be on a successful team and do something special, um, it's something that we haven't had the opportunity to do the last couple of years. And so it's been special to see him grow um, and really just enjoy this season um, in, in the entirety, whether injuries or not. Um, and to see him go and attack this last game and, and get healthy and and uh, just enjoy it. Hey, you've been here two years now. I feel like you've got a pretty good feel for the place. How important is this game for this football program? Oh, wildly important. Um, all season we've been saying one more. Um, and that was one more rep, one more set, one more play of practice. you got to figure out. Um, and so we, we, can, we, get, we had a huge game, and we did something really, really special that um, no one will ever forget here. But one more. we got one more game together, one more game to attack, one more game to play with each other. Looking back, uh, did Will Howard unlock some stuff in this offense that maybe just was kind of sleeping through parts of the season? Uh, I don't know. I just know that Will's played with an insane amount of confidence, and he's done things that I've seen him do in practice, and it's great to see him go out there and play that way in games. And, and I'm super proud of the guy, um, and he's done some great, great things this year that helped us win some big-time games. When you think of Alabama, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Just athletic. They're athletic. They're fundamentally sound. They do a lot of really good things on defense. They know where their weaknesses are, and they protect them well. Um, I think that the first thing that comes to mind is obviously the um, their the success they've had in the past, you know, and, and the the stories that they've had in the past and how good they've been historically. Uh, but I tell this team that we don't play the logo; we play the men inside the uniforms. And so we just got to attack that mentality and, and work hard every single day of practice. How, how fired up would you say everybody is for this game? Oh, we're super excited. Um, practice has been fun every day. It's been energetic. I think having the new indoors kind of helped a little bit. Um, but we're super excited to go after and get down to New Orleans and, and finish our bowl prep and attack these guys and, and go after one more team together. How much nicer is the new indoor than the, the one you had been in? Oh, it's a lot nicer. Um, yeah. Yeah, it has some AC. It's not just 100 degrees in there. The turf's nice. Um, it's a little thick in there, but it's it's uh, it definitely takes some getting used to for some of the guys that haven't had it indoor like this new one. Uh, but it's a blessing to have. What what was your favorite memory from the, the last bowl you played in? in Texas? The last bowl game? Yeah, I mean, I think my favorite memory was just getting out there and, and winning the game. I think it was the biggest thing. Because I had, first of all, never been to a bowl game. And so traveling down there, it was a blast. And it was a cool experience I've never had to do or got the ability to do. Um, and then going out there and beating LSU and beating them badly. And, and just having a fun game with the guys. And, and kind of like last year, I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know if I was going to be my last team or last game in college. I didn't know if I was going to be last team in college, last game in college with this team. Uh, but to go out there and get a win and, and play well was, was uh, really enjoying. What would you tell any of your teammates who, want, who maybe asked, you know, should I come back for a super senior year? What would you? What would you say based on your experience? I'd say it's a lot of work. Um, you definitely feel old, um, like <laughs> I have. There's starting to be an age gap now between me and some of the guys. Um, but if you get everything you have and, and attack everything every day, uh, like it's your last day, you won't, you won't regret it. And so I'm happy I came back, not only for what I've done this year with this team and the success we've had, we've had and how close we've been. What was it that, that clicked for you last year that made you decide want to come back for your last year? Yeah. Um, I think the bowl game helped a lot um, to see what CK's offense was going to look like, to see how we were going to change what we were doing, um, and to see what the team was going to look like moving forward. And so that was a huge step. Um, and then some kind of the changes we made um, offensively in that bowl prep that was going to be moving forward, um, I think fit me a little bit better. And, and so I took some time, talked to my family, people I loved, and talked to Coach Kleiman, and, and thought it was the best decision, and it was the best decision I made. We hear from Coach Kleiman a lot, football is football. Is it an adjustment to play in an environment like AT&T Stadium or like the Sugar Bowl where you're going to be playing? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely really exciting when you first get in there. Um, and it's kind of like when you play in front of 90,000, you play in front of X amount of thousand. It's really, really awesome when you first step on the field. You know, you take that a couple seconds, you're like, wow, I'm, I'm really here. You, you kind of feel where your feet are at. But then after that, when the game starts going, you don't really notice where you're playing or who you're playing in front of. It's just 11 on 11. 
Um, and so I'm super excited to get down there and play and see New Orleans and do all that. But the moment the clock starts, it's just football. Is there an adjustment for the background from a pass catching standpoint? What do you mean? The ball coming out and the stands being further away or being oh. or anything like that? Oh, um, not really. I would say the biggest thing sometimes is the lights. Like AT&T had those windows behind with the cars and everything. And so sometimes you catch a little bit of a glare. Um, but for the most part, it's not usually a huge deal, um, especially in the stadiums we play in. It's not those big domes like the Vikings or anything like that where you have those giant glares. And so I wouldn't say there's anything that's a big deal. You got to attempt to pass earlier in the season. Do, do you, me? you got to attempt to pass earlier in the season. Uh, I did. Yeah, it was against Oklahoma State, or you were going to, and then you had to kind of run out of it. Oh yeah, I was early, early on. Okay, yeah. Yeah, have you talked to Colin about wanting another chance to do that at some point? Man, of course. I want to get out there and throw the ball every play. Uh, it'd be cool. It's a dream. Um, I think it made my dad a little proud of me, but. Um, I'm not very good at throwing football, so I doubt it, but it would be awesome. With Will, you got to play with him last year and then this year, and you talked about him maybe translating things that you had seen in practice this year. What was it that took him to get over that hump in your eyes? Yeah, I see. I, that's a great question for him. I think that the biggest change for me that I keep talking about is just his confidence. Um, his confidence on the field, being able to just make those big-time throws and throw up a one-on-one 50-50 chance ball and, and go out there and, and trust what he's seeing and just throw the ball. And I think that that's been the biggest thing. And then off the field, too, his confidence is just being a leader, leading this team. He's been a, a quieter, goofier guy in the past and, and been kind of the younger dude. But to see him evolve and grow and be this leader that we look up to and we lean on in those situations is huge. Did you?